Once again, the Raiders have to put together a late drive to win the game. This clutch third down pass to Brian Williamson for eight yards set up Ricky Gann's winning 30-yard field goal. The first time since 1969 that Texas Tech has scored in the last minute to win a game. The Raiders haven't time to enjoy their win, however, as they now head for Seattle and the number one ranked and Rose Bowl champion Washington Huskies. And what one sports writer billed as the route of the week nearly turned into the upset of the season. For three and a half quarters, the Red Raiders maintained a scoreless tie. Washington was averaging 42 points per game, and the Raider defense held them to their fewest points and fewest yards of the season. Gabriel Rivera was honored as National Defensive Player of the Week for his play against Washington. Other defensive standouts were Clay Renfro on this four-yard loss, Tim Crawford with a seven-yard loss, and Kenneth Stearns with a one-yard loss. Tony Pullings pulls down an interception. Abu Bakr knocks down this pass, while Ricky Sanders breaks this one up. A wide slot eye to the right side, the wide side of the field, and Cowan goes back, play action, wants to throw, does, goes long, intercepted at the 45-yard line for the Red Raiders, to the 50-yard line is Stan David, he goes to the 45, the 40 still going to the 35, and finally wrestled out of bounds on the far side of the field, inside the 35, near the 32-yard line. Ricky Gann kicks a fourth quarter, 39-yard field goal, his eighth straight of the season, breaking the scoreless tie. However, the Huskies came back thanks to an onside kick that did not travel the necessary 10 yards and outscored the Raiders 10 to 3. Washington may have won the game, but Texas Tech, under the direction of Jerry Moore, continued to gain respect of fans and opponents all over the country. Glad you guys are leaving town, I'll tell you that much.